This is our low poly mesh in Blender. It has UVs also. And here the mesh in ZBrush. It also have the same UVs which has in Blender. So this mesh have subdivisions. And if I show the full subdivision, you can see the detailings. So how we transfer those detailings from ZBrush to Blender. To do this, go to this tab called Z Plugin and open this multi-map exporter. Let me dock this window first. We have to check the displacement option. Open up the export settings. Under displacement set subdiv level to 1. Why? Because we are working with this level of subdivision in Blender. So that's why we have to generate displacement map from this subdiv level. You can see my other settings like checking 3 channel and smooth UVs. Also main important part to check 32-bit and EXR for high resolution output. And here's the another important part which is mid value, I love to work with zero mid values. Now set the resolution to 8K. Check the flip V option because ZBrush always flip the UVs. Now hit create all maps. Name your EXR file and save it. It took me about one minute to export. Now our displacement map is generated. It looks like this. This seems black because we set the mid value to zero. Now come to Blender and add the map we just created. Add a displacement node. Connect that to the displacement output. Darkening the color to see the details more. Now plug the displacement map to the height socket. Now you can able to see some detailing start to appear. Set you mid value to zero, as we exported the map with that value in ZBrush. As you can see the mesh itself is still low poly. To add subdivisions, first you need to change some settings in the Material tab. Go under Settings. Set the Displacement to Displacement and Bump. And now what you have to do is, go under Modifiers tab and add subdivisions. I am giving it three subdivisions. And that's done. Now you can see the detailings of ZBrush in Blender. So this is it for this quick tutorial. Hope you like this. Please hit a like and subscribe the channel for more.